what up everybody? How you guys doing? Guess who just joined the 100 plus YouTube subscribers club? That's me. C'est moi. Thank you very much. And if you're not part of those 100 subscribers, I'm not talking to you. Okay, I can't. I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you. Please go subscribe. Go be a part of it because it's awesome. I have good videos coming up. You're gonna like them. Okay, so now that you guys have hopefully subscribed and rung that bell, uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up while you're watching the video because it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm working really hard at this to so show some appreciation, you know, a little bit, just a little bit of love. Just a little bit. Anyway, moving on. Now that we've established that this is a travel channel and this is my third video, I guess it's about time that I hit you guys with a travel video. Last year, my husband and I went to Kotagiri, which is our annual December ritual where we go for a trip at the end of the year. And uh, this video is kind of an amateur portrayal of our trip there. I know I got you guys wondering what is Kotagiri? I mean, I don't think too many people have heard of it. I'm sure all of you have heard of uh, Uti or Kunur. These are the very famous hill stations of Tamil Nadu, right? They're in the Nilgiri Mountains and what people fail to see is that these are not the only two, but there is a third one, which is Kotagiri. And it is equally beautiful. Although it shares most of its scenic points with Kunur, uh, it's a little far from Uti. So if you want to particularly go to Uti, then that has to be a separate trip altogether or a slightly longer trip. Now, my husband and I, we went for three days. Uh, we took the car. It took us about seven hours to get there and another seven hours to come back. Well, essentially it was a little more than seven hours because we had a couple of stops in the middle. I booked us a room in a villa uh, called IVC Villa. It's um, about seven kilometers away from the main Kotagiri city, which is actually not a city. It's a little bit like a developed village, you could call it. Uh, but I booked it on booking.com for zero fees. When we went in December, the temperature was about 8 degree minimum. The daytime actually was pretty warm. Uh, you can expect uh, temperatures rising to about 25, 28, 30 degrees as well. There are a bunch of restaurants and cafes that are available in these areas as well. Not particularly around IVC Villa, but a little farther away, maybe about nine kilometers. I'll be leaving the names and hopefully the links of these places in the description box below. So don't forget to check it out. So I'm not gonna waste any more time with my blabbing and I'll just get on to the video. So hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I'm sure you all will have a lot of comments on improvements. So please leave them in the description box below. Alrighty, let's do this. Coast to coast to drop down. Next level.
I hope my amateur video could give you a slight idea of what the place is like and how beautiful everything is. I mean, I'm sure you guys noticed the tea plantations and everything. It's kind of heaven for us tea lovers. But yeah, if you're in the south and you are planning a long weekend, then I sincerely suggest you consider Kota Giri Kunur. If you have any questions about Kota Giri or Kunur, about where to stay, what to see, where to eat, what to shop, where to shop, etc., etc., whatever comes to your mind, please go for it. We have a comment section below. Anyway, so once again, thanks so much for watching the video and making it to the end of it. I applaud you. You guys are the sweetest. If you want to see my last video, it's right here somewhere. I think this one. And yeah, see you in my next video. Take care.